guys, welcome to my channel. This week I'm here with my cousin Patricia. I'm gonna start off applying Scandinavia the Makeup Primer Spray just to retexturize the skin, close up any pores, and refine the texture of the skin in general. To reinforce that effect, I'm gonna also use Benefits Professional and just apply that to the center of the face where the pores tend to be a little bigger. And just apply that with fingers because it melts better to the skin. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of eye cream. This is by Benefit, it's called It's Potent. And now that we have the skin prepped, I'm gonna start off with the eyes. I'm gonna start applying Max Paint Pot in... What was the name of this? Painterly. <laughs> That's what it's called. And I'm just gonna clean off the edge of the brow on the bottom. I'm not gonna take Max Fluid Line, which is just a gel eyeliner in black, and run that on the eyelid. Leave a space for it to be able to blend upwards into the crease. So don't go very far up, because otherwise, you're gonna completely mess up the whole thing. But as you can see, I'm not being very careful about it. I'm just gonna make sure it blends and diffuse the edges and you have to work very quickly with this product because it sets. This is how it looks so far. I'm gonna take a shade from the Modern Renaissance palette, which is called Tempera. It's a beautiful nude shade and that is gonna highlight the bridge of the brow and also set the paint pot by MAC that we applied before. And now, finally, I'm gonna start working with the Master Palette by Mario, and I'm taking Lula, which is a beautiful matte shade, perfect for transition. I'm applying that with a Zoeva Deluxe Petit Crease Brush, which is very fluffy, but pointy at the tip, so it's great for application and blending at the same time. And I'm just going, as you can see, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm gonna also apply that on the outer corner. And I'm gonna take a clean blending brush, this is the 224 by MAC, and just go back and forth and blend. I'm now going to take Claudia, which is this spectacular shade that is grey, between a grey and a black, and it has a beautiful sophisticated shimmer to it, and I'm just patting it into the eyelid where we applied the gel eyeliner, and I'm just, as you can see, I'm not, I'm totally not being careful about it, I just slide it on, slap it on, I want a great payoff, and these eyeshadows definitely give you that. And I'm taking the brush that we were using before that still has a bit of Lula on it, and just making sure I diffuse the edges and they all marry together. I'm gonna take bronze, which is this spectacular shade as well. I know I just can't cope with this. It is a beautiful green with flex to it. As you can see, I'm lightly spreading it all over the eyelid, except for the outer corner, where I want the black to be rocking it. But as you can see, just a wash of color. I'm not gonna take Marina, which is Kind of a rose gold metallic shade and with a pencil brush by mac i'm just gonna apply that on the tear dot and as you can see here's the process so far and as you can see it's very smoky very sultry i'm gonna take the fluid line again with a liner brush this is uh angled so it's great for application i'm just gonna run that on the lash line and just break the edges of it to make it look smokier i'm not gonna curl the eyelashes up to Jesus and apply mascara. This is the Lancome Hypnosolize Waterproof and you know this is my favorite. It curls a drama, it's waterproof, it, it holds a curl, it's amazing. I'm not gonna apply House of Lashes Bambi Lashes. These are beautiful and it's gonna give a wispy effect to the eyes. And now she's about to see it. Wow, my God! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was her first time wearing false eyelashes, so it was to be expected. I'm now filling her eyebrows using the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. I'm taking two shades in the uh, dark brown category. And I'm just gonna create a more ombre effect on the brows. So a little bit lighter on the beginning, and as I go to the tail, I'm gonna make it darker. And she has bombas brows, so she doesn't need much. I'm gonna set that work and add a little bit more of color using the NYX eyebrow gels. I'm starting off with the blonde one to make a gradient effect and then finish up with the brunette just to keep up with the ombre effect that we were trying to achieve. And I'm moving on to base. I'm starting off applying Dream Velvet Foundation by Maybelline just on the center of the face. She has combination skin but very dehydrated at the moment so I wanna make the center of the face a little bit more matte which is why I'm applying this foundation and it has a mousse consistency and a matte finish, and I'm just working that with a beauty blender. And now for the perimeter of the face, I'm gonna take Nars Sheer Glow, which you know I love, and just work it. Same beauty blender. I'm now gonna correct the under eye, and I'm using the Eve Pearl Correctors in Salmon, applying that with a synthetic brush, and then making sure it blends into the skin with the same beauty blender. Just tap, because we wanna get the most coverage out of it. 
I'm not gonna take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers and I'm just gonna apply this concealer where the shadow is showing up just to make a visual effect of making it pop and this is gonna help out a lot with um, the backs under the eyes. I'm not gonna set all that concealer work using the NARS Reflecting Loose Powder, which you know I love as well. And I'm gonna apply that on the center of the face as well, since we are done applying cream products. I'm not gonna go back to Lula on the Master Palette by Mario and applying that all over the lower lash line with a pencil brush. This one is by Zoeva and this is very soft and beautiful. And with an angle brush, I'm just gonna take the darkest shade, so Violetta, I believe it was, and just running it just on the outer corner to make the eye a little bit more lifted. I'm not gonna run a nude eye pencil on the inner part of the waterline and a green olive one by NYX on the outer half. I'm not gonna take Oasis Blusher by NARS and apply that with a Kabuki brush all over, so the blush and up to the temple. And now I'm gonna take Deep Throw, which is more of a corally pink shade, and just apply that on the apples of the cheeks. And with a clean brush, I'm just gonna make sure they all blend together for a beautiful 3D effect. I'm not gonna highlight, I'm gonna take this Moonchild palette by Anastasia and taking Pink Heart, which is a beautiful shade. It has a pink duochrome effect. I like it, but it's a bit too glittery for me. I wasn't expecting that. I'm running this mascara by MAC, this is the Intense Giga Black Lash, on the lower lashes to make them longer and open up the eyes a little more. And here's how the eyes look. And I'm going to start lining the lips using this NYX pencil, and I believe the shade is called Pink Nude, and it is beautiful. It has a soft pink undertone to it, and I'm just going to line the lips and fill them in. And I'm gonna also apply this NARS Audacious Lipstick in Bridget, which has as well a pink undertone and it looks so beautiful. The formula is stunning, um, creamy, very full pigment and they really are long lasting for what they are. So I really love this formula. And as a final touch, I'm spraying a little bit of Fix Plus to give the skin a bit of a glow. And that was the final steps. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. It is beautiful, it is perfect for this Christmas season for parties, for New Year's Eve, anything, you name it. It is so sultry, so beautiful, makes the eye pop a lot. And so I hope you recreate it. If you do, tag me on Instagram and Twitter. You know, I love to see your locations. And I'm gonna also leave all my social media links down below in the description box, as well as every single product mentioned and used in this video. So without any further ado, I hope you have a great holiday season and I'll see you guys on the next video. Mwah.